Good morning boys and girls and here's our writing for Thursday the 21st of January. And I'm in my kitchen. We're having a writing lesson from Mrs Walker's kitchen today and I've got some things behind me. I've got my kettle, my mugs, my tea. I wonder what we could be doing today in our lesson. Do you want to have a wee guess? Excellent. We are going to make a cup of tea. And this is all about our instruction writing, how to write a set of instructions. Last week, we wrote instructions on how to build a snowman. And luckily, you even got to do that because there was snow on the day that you were to build a snowman. So today's lesson is all about writing instructions about how we make a cup of tea. So our learning intention is how to write a set of instructions. And we're going to use lots of those lovely bossy verbs we spoke about yesterday in our Tools for Writing lesson. Can we remember what a bossy verb is? Great. It is a word that tells us what to do. It's a doing word that tells us to do something like a command. Sit at your desk. Pack up your belongings. Okay, so I'm going to make my cup of tea. And you're going to have a think about all the things that I'm doing. Okay, so here goes. So the first thing you do in a set of instructions is you need to tell the person what they all need to make it. Because you don't want to start making something and realise you've forgotten something. So for example, when you're doing your Lego at home, you want to make sure all the pieces are there before you start putting it together. So let's have a look at what I've got. I've got milk, kettle, mug. One of my favourite ones there with my fox on it. A tea bag, sweetener or sugar, and a teaspoon. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six things I need to make my cup of tea. Do you think I've missed anything? I think we've got everything we need. So when you're doing this part on your instructions, in this section here, it's called You Will Need. And usually in instructions or recipe, you need to tell the person everything they need before they make it because it makes it easier to have everything. So in this box here, you need to either draw or write down everything I've just shown you here. Spoon, tea bag, mug, kettle, milk, and sweetener or sugar. So we're now gonna look at what step one is. What do you think we do first? What do you think we do first using all these things? I think the first thing I need to do is fill my kettle with water. Fill my kettle with water and switch it on. Now it is already filled. So did you spot the bossy verb I used there? Excellent. Fill the kettle with water and switch it on. There was two bossy verbs here. Fill and switch. So fill the kettle with water and switch it on. So that can be written in step one. So I've done step one. I've filled my kettle and I've switched it on. Two bossy verbs there. Fill and switch. And when that's boiling, I'm going to then put a tea bag into the cup. Put a tea bag into the cup and add the sugar. So step two, put the tea bag into the cup, add the sweetener or sugar. So that's now on step two. We've done step one and step two. Step three. Now my kettle's boiled. So we're now going to do something with the water. I wonder if you can think of a good word to think about when we're adding the water. Begin to the p. Pour. So we're going to pour the water, the boiling water, into the cup. Pour. And this is a part that either needs to be done with by an adult or it needs to be done very carefully. Okay. Pour the boiling water into the cup. Not all the way up. Maybe I'll get up to here. Pour the boiling water into the cup over the tea bag. So pour the boiling water into the cup over the tea bag. Good. So step one was fill the kettle and switch it on. Step two was put the tea bag and sugar into the mug. Step three was pour the boiling water into the mug over the tea bag. Let's see what else we've used this already. 
we've used this. We've now got the tea, the spoon and the milk. Sometimes you might actually say for step four, leave the tea bag to infuse the water, which means leaving the tea bag in the water to make it taste of tea. So we might, you might add step four, leave the tea bag for me one minute or two minutes. It depends how strong you like your tea. But I think we'll go for step four. We'll go stir, stir the water with the tea bag. Stir the water and the tea bag. Stir the water and the tea bag. You're making sure all the tea from the tea bag gets into the water so it's lovely and tasty. That's a good bossy verb, stir. So we're stirring and squeezing the tea bag. Okay, so that's step number maybe four. Stir the tea bag in the water. And when you think you've had enough stirring, you're going to remove the tea bag from the cup. Remove the tea bag from the cup. I'm just going to place it to the side at the moment. So remove the tea bag from the cup. That was probably step five. So step four was stir. Step five, remove the tea bag from the cup. And we now need to do one last thing. Now we could use a few different bossy verbs. We could say add the milk. We could say pour the milk into the cup. I like pour, that's a good bossy verb. So pour some milk into the mug, depending on how much milk you like. So pour the milk into the mug and you might do a last stir. You might do one last wee stir there. And what's left for me to do? What's left for me to do is to drink my tea. Drink and enjoy your cup of tea. I wonder what you have your tea with. A biscuit, a piece of cake, digestive biscuit maybe. Maybe for your break, maybe your banana. So, what you have got to do, you can watch that video as many times as you need to see what each step was. So we thought about step one being filling and switching on the kettle. Step two was putting the tea bag and sugar into the mug. Step three was pouring the boiling water carefully with an adult's help into the mug. Step four was then stirring the tea bag in the boiling water. Step five was removing the tea bag because you don't want to drink the cup of tea with the tea bag still in it. And step six was then adding your pouring the milk in, giving it a stir, and then there's technically you could put a step seven saying, drink the tea with a biscuit. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? So you've got to now watch the video again and fill in your worksheet. Your you will need section, drawing and listing all the things you need. Each step, you can watch the video as many times as you want. And we're looking forward to seeing all those nice bossy verbs at the start of each sentence. Stir, mix, pour, switch remove all these bossy verbs. So we're looking forward to reading your instructions if you pop them on the marking tray channel on Teams. And if you did actually get to make a cup of tea with an adult's help, make sure you post a wee picture of you enjoying your cup of tea, if you like tea. So that's today's writing lesson and we'll see all the work on Teams. Thank you, bye. Enjoy!